Hi everyone, I'm back with another video from the video tutorial QVC tutorial for beginners. Today in this video I will be discussing about control statement. So regarding the control statement, we will be discussing about selection statement tree. Those are if then, if then else, if else if in this and select case. We will be discussing how it's an array of these functions. So let's begin. A selection statement is a conditional statement, also known as branching statement. It allows us to test whether the statements given are true or false and then execute some statements or code based on these comparisons. So let's see. Suppose I'm initializing a value. A sorry value 10 to the variable A. And let's see if A is greater than 5, then I'm going to say that it is going to print a value greater than 10. So 5. And then in the program to run this one. We are sure to get the output that is greater than 5 since the value a here is 10 and we have checked the condition whether a is greater than 5 for that purpose. Let's see. Yeah, the output is greater than 5. So similarly let's just print the value of a to 1 only and let's see the output. The output has nothing else means we have just compared whether the value is greater than 5 or not but in this case the value is not greater than 5 so the output is nothing it's all because we have only given some statement for two condition only but in case we want the condition sorry some codes to be executed if the condition becomes false greater than 5 and else less than 5 so in this case what happens is if the condition becomes true some codes will be executed well if the condition becomes false then the codes are sorry the codes in the else statement will be executed and while writing so we must end our statement using in this and when we run this, we'll be able to see that the output will be less than 5. In this case, since the value has been initialized to 1, so initialized to the variable a is just 1. And in such case, the value is less than 5, the condition is greater than 5, which is not true. So the statements under else statement will be executed. And this we have covered two statements today if then statement and if then else statement. In if then statement, you have noticed that you shall not use this in if statement. This statement performs all its tasks in a single line only, and so this in if is not required for that statement. While for if then else statement, you require this in if statement since the statement has got this else statement as well means some codes are going to be executed during the false condition as well so whether the condition becomes false so this is it for today we will be covering other two selection statements in the coming video see you guys thank you please like my video and subscribe it